concerning our our way towards this happiness, this full development of mind's potential, here uh, Buddha gives some very clear advice. He gives, probably because people have ten fingers, he gives ten kinds of advice. Why? Well, Moses, of course, he gave ten kinds of, of commandments, but Buddha always treats his students like, like grown-ups and he always says, you do a thing and say that, you get this result, you do a thing and say that, you get that result. YouTube, right? This is also what he makes. So here, uh, what Buddha told us um, is to use the body for protecting others, not harming or killing them, giving them what they need, not robbing or cheating them, and giving them love, right? Also physical, sexual love, right? Because this is so important for people's growth and people's happiness. Then with the speech he advised saying what's there and, and not lying because then people are vulnerable. Then also on top of that, well, bringing them together when they're split up because otherwise a lot of bad feelings appear. Then showing them their potential, lifting their level from say beer and, and sports and fashion to newest discoveries of science, you know, and all these different things, right? And again, on top of this, you know, that one will, hopefully, you know, that one will really get people to express themselves. And finally, the last thing is, of course, mind, that we wish people happiness, that we uh, share the good things that they have, and that we learn to think clearly. This is the general package that Buddha gives us, and using that we cannot go wrong being more aware in our lives, being more conscious, doing our best and so on, is actually the way to live better.